Grace and peace be to you from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, who is the head of all of our lives. Amen. We thank God for another day's journey. This is the day. This is the day, the song said, that the Lord had made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us bow our heads in prayer, please. So precious. God, our Savior, we rise again this morning only because of thy grace and thy mercy. You look beyond our faults and you saw our needs. We just want to thank you and praise you for being God Almighty. Besides you, Lord, there is no hope. Our hope is filled on nothing less but Jesus' blood and his righteousness. We praise you and we magnify your name and we glorify you for who you are this morning. We kind on you. We kind on your spirit. Bless us with your spirit this morning, Lord, as we go forth to preach the only doctrine, gospel, the good news concerning Christ and his church. We thank you now. We magnify your name to the highest. In Jesus' name, let the redeemer of the Lord say, in Jesus' name, amen. There is a, a word this morning, a word this morning taken from 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles uh, 15 verse, 15, 17, 21, 22 verse, 2 Chronicles, we find these words as it is written, hallelujah, the 15th verse, it says, and he said, Hearken ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thy king Jehoshaphat, thy saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid, or not dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, uh, but God. Uh, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves and stand uh, ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, not be dismayed. Tomorrow uh, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head and face to the ground, all uh, Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. 21st verse, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of uh, holiness. And as they went out before the army and to say, to say praises the Lord uh, for his mercy endured uh, forever. And when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambush against the children of Ammon and the mob and Matsir, which were come against Judah. And they were smitten. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. We want to talk this morning on this thought here. God is in control. God is in, in control. My brothers and my sisters, all of us, we face various trials and battles in our lives. No one can escape, escape problems and challenges, which we often call the storm of life. But God, the good news, what I would like that uh, you to know, for you to know this morning, that God, he already know what he will do when we face difficulties. Uh, he, 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 he has a plan already. A plan to bring us out to victory. 
Chronicles uh, 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 20 uh, tell us that we do not need to fight our own battles uh, because our battle, uh, your battle, it all belongs to the Lord. It don't belong to us. And, and we need to know this. Uh, you need to know that God never, never lost the battle. Uh, and all we have to do is just uh, trust God and stand on his side, stay on his side, uh, stay on the winner's side. God told Jehoshaphat, 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 the battle don't belong to you, but you, your battle belongs to me. And we all need to know that this morning. Uh, that whatever you are up against this morning, you need to know that it's not your battle. You, the, the battle belongs to God. And the scripture teaches us, Jesus said, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. You got to know that God uh, cares for you. All we have to do is continue to fellowship, continue to worship, continue to serve God. And then whatever trial that comes your way, wait for God to deliver us. Because God is and God will fight your battle. And another thing you need to know, stop worrying because God is in control. Yeah, we see in 2 Chronicles 20, we find the enemy, the Moabites and the Ammonites and the Mennonites came up against King Jehoshaphat, uh, the people of Judah. Always remember, my brothers and sisters, uh, the devil will never give you no rest. Amen. He told God uh, when, uh, when he went, was in heaven before the angels, he told God that he's down on earth, moving to and fro, seeking whom he can devour. And if you allow the devil to, he will come in your home, uh, he will come in your family, uh, he will come in your church, because his job, according to John 10.10, 10, for the thief uh, cometh but to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, is the enemy against you this morning? What enemy are you uh, fighting this morning? What problem that you are up against this morning? I stop by just to remind you that God, he is in control. Huh? God is in control. Let's look at, let's take a look at King Jehoshaphat. How he dealt with his enemy. The enemy was coming. He was outnumbered. He was outnumbered. There was many soldiers uh, coming uh, against Jehoshaphat. So let's see how he dealt with the situation. Well, first of all, he turned his attention to God instead of focusing on, on the enemy. Huh? And he focused his attention on God uh, who, who were trying to feed him or destroy him. He turned, his, he turned his attention to God. And let me tell you what, they came to Jehoshaphat and told him that a great multitude had come against you from beyond the Dead Sea, from Eden. And the text tells us that Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord. My brothers and sisters, fear is a part of life. Uh, I can remember it's nothing strange for you to experience fear, especially as we go through this pandemic. Fear, even when we were little children, uh, our family and friends would tell us little ghost stories and what happened. You can't even sleep at night sometimes because of the fear that the world is still in your heart. But one thing I say about it uh, that Jehoshaphat. The Bible said he feared, but he realized after he got upset, what I need to do is get on my knees and have a talk with Jesus. Can I get a witness? He focused not on the enemy, but in his prayer, he focused on God. He proclaimed a fast, that's number one, in all Judah, and he seek God help. See, see, Jehoshaphat know that they were outnumbered. Uh, see, these things that the young and our power, my brothers and sisters, we need to put it in the hands of God. What it is that you're wrestling with? What it is that you can't 
deal with this morning? Have you turned it over to God? Are you out there trying to fight your battle? You need to remember one thing, and this one thing we all need to remember, that God is in control of every situation that we go through in life. It might seem kind of sick now that God, with this virus going around and, and it's spreading and it's getting worse and what have you, but I still, I stop by and remind you, according to the Bible, that God is in control and he has all power in his hand. Yeah, yeah, like David said, my help coming from the Lord who creates the heaven and the earth. Where are your help coming from this morning? Where are your help coming from this morning? Jehoshaphat, he did not seek advice from other people. Sometimes you can go to other people when you suffer from a problem and, and they don't have the answer. You understand? But God, he has all knowledge. He has all power in his hand. Jehoshaphat didn't seek the, the, the advice from friends and family members or military advisors. He was determined to hear from God. You got to keep on coming before God. Let them know that you really, 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 really in need and desperate to hear from the word from the Lord. Uh, see, there are, are times in our lives we can be up against a battle and unless we hear from God, we would be defeated. Jehoshaphat, According to the sixth verse, he seek God's help. He prayed, verse six, O oh Lord, God of our Israel, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdom and all nations? In your hand uh, you are power and might, so that none is able to withstand It's not your mayor, but it's God. He's still in charge. And I stop by and remind you, you ought to let God fight your battle. Uh, see, instead of Jehoshaphat uh, talking to God about his problem, uh, he talked to God about who he is. Can I get a witness? Uh, see how powerful he said he is. Uh, he praised God uh, for who he is. He praised him about the great things he had done for him in his life. See, Jehoshaphat, he praised and worshiped God first. And, 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 and see, see, he mentioned, he didn't mention his problems, but he talked to God, telling God how good he is. See, when you go in prayer to God, always to talk to God, and let him know uh, what he has done already uh, in your life. Uh, let him know that, that he has all power in his hand. Uh, I don't care uh, what you up against in life. Uh, if you want God's help, uh, we should enter his presence uh, with thanksgiving uh, and come into his gates uh, with praise. Uh, can I hear witness? Uh, can you praise him uh, with me this morning? Uh, whatever you up against, uh, can you just open your heart right now uh, and praise God? Uh, thank you. He praised him uh, for waking you up this morning. Uh, praise him uh, for healing uh, this body of mine. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, this is what our God uh, is all about. Uh, and then uh, we need to take our problems. Uh, after you tell God uh, how good he is, uh, after you praise God uh, for how he's been good to you, uh, then you bring your problems uh, to the Lord. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, in Jehoshaphat's prayer, uh, he admits uh, his dependency upon God. Uh, 2 Corinthians 20 uh, and 12. Uh, here he admits that to God uh, opened and told uh, his inability uh, to deal with the problem. Uh, you got to let God know uh, 
that you don't know anything because of your inability and you don't have the power. That's the reason why I'm calling on, I'm calling on you, Lord. We also need to realize that we cannot solve our own problems. We need to save your life and I am not going to worry about it. Whatever I'm facing in life, I'm not going to worry about it. And the reason that we don't worry about it because the battle belongs to God. Because the battle tells us, Bible tells us, it's God, it's for us, who it is that can be against us. Can I get a witness? I stopped by this morning, church, on my way to heaven, just to remind you, if God is going to tell you who it is that can be against you. If you are going through a trial this morning, remember that God is He is in control. Let Him fight your battle just like He fight your battle for the Hebrew boys. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego just like He fight the battle for Daniel. Just like He fought the battle for Paul and Silas. Just like He fight the battle for Jesus. Can I get a witness? They can I don't carry a cross, but death couldn't hold him. Death couldn't hold him in his grave because God will be in control. I feel like right now, God is in control of your life. Don't worry about a thing. Just keep on looking to the hills. A wind's coming to your help. Knowing that your help is coming from the Lord. We all here today because Lord, He fought our battles. Some of us were sick. Some of us have been delivered. Some of us was down and He picked us up. And we all was lost. And He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus, the Lily of the Valley, to die and shed His blood and give us salvation. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna serve him. Can I get a witness? This is the reason why we are praising this morning, church. You are praising God wherever you are right now. If you're in your home, you need to shout hallelujah. If you're on your job, you need to shout hallelujah. If you're in your car, you need to shout hallelujah for the goodness of God and know that he is still with you in spite of your circumstances. God is in control. Can I give a witness? Praise him because God Almighty. I praise him because he's at hope and amigo the beginning and the end and he changes not. Can I give a witness? Somebody told me that he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Can I give a witness? I stopped by this morning just to remind you, church, that God is. God is in control. He's in control of everything. Somebody said that he had the whole world. The whole wide world in his hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is in 